Hello everyone, I'm Havoc, and this is Minecraft All the Mods 3. We are right in front of my town hall for my mine colony. So I've been working on this off camera, trying to... Fire me over that, are you? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I hit the screenshot button. Uh, they say some of the weirdest things to you as you're going along. But I've had this finished it's a lot of work let me tell you something you come over here you say uh, where's it at something about building build options and then it tells you all the things that you're gonna need let me go ahead and tell you a good tip write all of this stuff down write all of this stuff down take some screenshots or something and get it ready beforehand and just put it all into your builder's chest right over here oh also I have a glider I have a satchel there's a few things you're gonna notice here oh, let me get rid of that uh, I've been working off camera I've been busy trying to get some stuff done uh, in between running over here to get this lady everything she could ever want <laughs> but uh, yeah the builders inventory the builders hut inventory Get a list of everything you're going to need before you click that build button and put it all in her inventory to begin with because the worst thing you can do is start building and not have it all in there and you're going along doing something and then you go, wait a minute, she wants something. She's not building right now because she needs X, Y, or Z. And you have to keep running back over, giving her what she wants and she'll go back to work and then you go back to doing what you're doing and it's a bit of a laborsome process. But... I have done a little bit of exploring around uh, my area and I have found some neat little things here and there, some little treasure, uh, found a village, found, uh, I think they're called witches huts or something, it's like little thatch buildings and inside the thatch buildings they have treasure in the chest and they have spawners. So I found all kinds of things down there, but also I... I grew a lot of crops, I sold them for emeralds, and I bought some specific items because I'm working on a food called the Plowman's Lunch. The Plowman's Lunch gives you dairy, fruit, grain, protein, and vegetable. All five food groups. So when you're eating it, none of these drop down. They all go up. Also, you're going to see a lot of messages down here in chat because they're unhappy I haven't built them houses yet some of them don't have jobs and they're just gonna have to wait <laughs> because uh oh uh oh it's a solar eclipse which will allow mobs to spawn <laughs> they're gonna have to wait a little bit because I'm trying to get started here and really getting going with the colony before you have anything is very rough so it's a good idea to start a little bit of gathering beforehand I'm going to use my iron lumber axe on this right here. I planted a whole lot of saplings all right next to each other and they grow up together and that allows you to use this right here, this little mechanic where it'll cut down all of them for you and it's amazing. But I've needed so much wood for that building over there that this became a necessity <laughs> and because it has a, a copper binding in it we're getting experience from all of this too so you'll notice I'm level 41 I've been gaining a lot of experience I've been doing the work getting stuff done uh, there are several other people playing on the server and I have uh, interacted with them done some trading uh, for resources uh, there's a another person on here Juniper she's been coming over to use my smelter a lot she's very new to modded so she has been doing her thing and uh, paying me to come use what I have already set up since she doesn't have a setup yet. But I'm going to replant all of these that I can and that will all grow again. But look at that. Holy cow. Wood. See? Wood is not a problem. And this is what's really helped me to get this thing done over here. You need so much wood. That's what got our town hall finished for me that lumber axe and look they're already growing <laughs> I like it 
I'm also liking the fact that the solar eclipse is ending. But what I was saying, the plowman's lunch is what I've been working towards because it gives you all five food groups and it gives you a lot of meat and saturation. It's You eat one and you're full. You're good. So this takes a cutting board, which I already have, bread, apples, cheese, sweet pickles, onions, uh, pork chop or tofu, and a boiled egg. So the cutting board is really simple. The cutting board takes a brick, a stick, and a plank, and you make a cutting board. Super easy, not hard at all. But you also need a few other things because you have to take these grapes, and you put the grapes in here with a juicer, just like this, where there's two grapes in, and it makes grape juice. And that grape juice can be put in combined with a pot to make vinegar. And the juicer is a, a piece of clean stone or just stone over a stone pressure plate. And the pot is just four bricks and a stick. It's super cheap, super easy things to make. Then you're going to take this vinegar and the cucumber in order to make the sweet pickle you need the cucumber the vinegar and sugar in here with your pot I have four sugar <laughs> I have sugar cane right over here let's fix this real fast I can just make some more sugar but I'm walking you through the stages to make this really good food you get the sugar cane make sugar out of it then you combine that sugar, the vinegar, the cucumber, and the pot all together, and you make sweet pickles. And the sweet pickles are one of the ingredients. Onions, you just need plain raw onions that you gather. So right here is raw onions, sweet pickles, apples, bread, Let's see, the boiled eggs and co cooked pork chop. Boiled eggs. And boiled eggs is really simple as well. I have uh, been taking dirt off the top of this part of the hill and using it because I did make my um, town hall floating. So it has required an awful lot of dirt to get that finished as well. But up here, I have a hopper dumping eggs into this chest and I don't need all of these right now and there's just some chickens in there I got one in originally and I've been slowly expanding it by tossing eggs in there and it's pretty loud up here but you'll see I've got sheep uh, pigs cows my chickens they were all kind of floating around in this area and I just lured them over here built some fences and have been breeding them up because they are a necessity for this but if you put your eggs in with a pot you make boiled eggs and those boiled eggs are used in the recipe. So I have cooked pork chop from killing the pigs. I have everything necessary. I just need a crafting interface big enough. Oh, no, excuse me. Missing butter. The butter is really, really neat. So I'll show you exactly how you get the butter as well. I'm going to put that down. I need my salt from in here, a little bit of it. Bring 32 up and we're gonna go milk a cow because you take the milk and you can turn regular milk buckets into four Pam's harvest craft milk four bucket looking things of fresh milk here combined with a pot and then some salt will make cheese so if I come in here and do this again make it into that type of milk first put your pot and salt in that's sugar <laughs> and you get cheese and you repeat that process a lot and you get more also it's starting to get dark I have a sleeping bag so I can just plop right down here and sleep and we're going to use all of these ingredients combined to make the plowman's lunch And it only put one recipe's worth in there? Why is it not putting all of them? That's a pain. But here's the deal. Doing all of this by hand is what I've been doing because I've been busy and I've been doing other things, doing some mining, doing exploring, helping with that. 
But there's a much better way to go about this entire process, and that is with cooking for blockheads. Cooking for blockheads adds in kitchen items, which are phenomenally powerful. We are going to get started with making those right away because it will make the process of making the plowman's lunch bearable. And food in this mod pack is more of a necessity than than usual, specifically because you can't just do, you know, want like bread and always bread and nothing else. That, that won't work. You have to get a balanced diet going. And so it's very important to work towards getting that balanced diet. There are a few other options than just the plowman's lunch. It's the one that I chose because it you eat one and you're done. You eat one, it gives you all five food groups, gives you full meat puffs and full saturation. You're good to go. So that's why I wanted that. But we want to get a simple setup going for the kitchen. Really, really simple. And I've got a little bit of stuff prepared. I don't know if I have everything we're going to need. We are going to need terracotta. We are going to need clean stone, which looks like I don't have a lot of. So we are going to cook some of that up right now. And I think you need a chest. Oh, also, while I was exploring, I found storage crates, which are wonderful. These things hold so much. It's crazy to think about the storage space you have with them. But we're going to make the cooking table. And for this, the first thing we need is to put a book in the... You need to cook a book. You need to put a book into the furnace. So do I have some sugar cane that I have not turned into anything yet? Yes, right here. Because I'm going to need that to make paper. Right? Am I crazy? Do you have to do it in a straight line? That makes one. Oh. Ouch. Mm, there we go. Three paper. One piece of leather, which I should have right in here. And this will give us a book. And then we're going to cook this book to make a cooking book. <laughs> And I have killed an awful lot of pigs to prepare the pork chop that you need for this. But then you take this Cooking for Blockheads book, and I think you combine that with two crafting tables and two diamonds. So I have the diamonds. Craft Two crafting tables is very simple. So that will make this version. And then you use all of the terracotta and three stone and you make the cooking table. And this allows you to craft a lot of the different recipes like you were to have a cutting board and all kinds of other items. Now another thing that I'm going to want is a sink. The sink will give me infinite water. It is a water source. And it will also allow you to get water for recipes when you're cooking with your kitchen. And then I'm going to want at least one kitchen counter, probably more than one. But I, I also want to know, what does it take to make a fridge and an oven? These are very simple. So we're going to get our second kitchen counter. This gives us two counters, a sink, a cook table. What am I missing? A furnace, some more iron. I have the iron. We needed iron doors and chests to make the fridge components. And you need two of these, and I'll show you why you need two in just a moment. And now that I'm thinking about it, that was black glass. And I have a black die. Wonderful. <laughs> I was about to be concerned that I didn't have what I need to make the black die over here. Or to make the black glass, which is black die. And then I just need to make a furnace. Furnace. 
Your black stained glass and some more iron makes an oven, which will allow you to cook things, uh, which is very helpful. But another good thing about this, I'll show you in a minute, is that you can put your you can put your cookware on it and have use of your cookware. So this is a multi-block structure. It's very similar to the uh, Tinker's Construct setup that I showed you where you can put one block down and then attach blocks to it such as an, a counter and you can put the sink here, you can put your cooking table. The reason you want two fridges is because this variant is upgradable. The, the double stacked fridge, not only does it look cool when you open it because you can see what's on the inside <laughs> which you can do with the cabinet doors and everything. If someone's watching you, they can actually see what's on the inside. This is an amazing mod. But right here, you see this? Water. Water bucket. Infinite water source. You can also take out of this with pipes and all kinds of mechanisms. Mm, that's an interesting little thing. I don't know about the red glow. I guess that's a light that's on inside of there. And oh, you probably also noticed I installed Optifine, which gives you the beautiful uh, grass textures, but it also is going to help increase the quality of my videos. And with this down, I can show you this has an area where you can put the pot, where you can put the juicer, and a couple of other of the cookware as well and you can put this cutting board on top and all of these things are accessible so if I come in here now and click the recipe it will make the recipe for me see three four but even better than that if I put the ingredients inside of it I just put everything that I have in there I can shift click and it made all of it Super simple. Another thing that's really nice about this is salt right here. The recipe for this salt is a pot and water. Well, we have infinite water and we have a pot right there. So if I come over here and just say I want salt, okay, I just made several stacks of salt. Easy, easy, easy. That's much better. The salt I was originally using, this salt, I'm actually mining up in the world. Well, actually, that salt was brought to me by Juniper <laughs> as payment, along with a few other resources when she was using my uh, smeltery. That and clay, lots of clay, which has been helpful in making our kitchen here. And this isn't where this is going to stay. <laughs> I'm not going to just have an outdoor kitchen sitting here. Don't, don't you worry. We will be relocating this. But what I want to do now is just move all of the ingredients that I need for cooking into here because it's much better to use this so I need to turn that into sugar we already have sweet pickles I don't need the wheat in there I only need the ingredients that I'm actually going to use placed in here and then when I harvest again I can put the items right into here and use them out of here to make more. And in fact, I can show you right now. Grape juice was one of the steps. I make a bunch of grape juice. Put it back in. Oh look, here's the vinegar. Make a bunch of vinegar. Sweet pickles. Just use some of that vinegar in the cucumbers to make sweet pickles. And you see, this just streamlines the process so much. And now I can just come in and say, I want more Plowman's Lunch. Now I have 35. I'm probably missing something from the recipe, onions, sweet pickles, boiled eggs. What am I missing here to keep crafting? Cooked pork chop maybe? No, nope, cooked pork chop. Is it the boiled eggs? No, I have 11 boiled eggs. I'm missing something. Butter, the cheese. I'm missing cheese. But here's another good thing about this is if you have milk alongside this, you can make the cheese. You have salt, infinite salt, free and infinite salt, plus your cookware equals cheese. So you might say, well, how are you going to get that milk? Well, you have this thing called a milk jar, and you have this thing called a cow in a jar. 
So the milk jar just requires one bucket of milk, which we can go get right after we sleep. And make sure we don't get eaten. And then I'm also going to need the glass to make that jar. And was it a plank? Yes, a single plank, seven glass, and some milk. Single plank. Now let's go get our milk jar, our bu milk bucket, so we can make our jar of milk. And then to get a cow in a jar, you have to do something really hilarious. You take that milk bucket, or excuse me, the milk jar that we're about to make, and you place it down, and when a cow is over the top of it, you drop an anvil on that cow. I know it sounds crazy, but what that does is it squeezes the cow into the jar. See? Anvil dropped onto a cow over the milk jar is how you make the cow in a jar. And you've probably noticed I have an anvil in my inventory. And I've been waiting so that I can make my milk jar and get our cow in a jar. So I just need to get one of these down into a hole right about in here. We just need to place our milk jar down in it. Now, who's going to be the lucky candidate? Is it you? Go on down in there. Drop in. You know you want to. <laughs> Come on. Somebody. Anyone. They're just walking right over. There we go. You're almost there. Don't you worry. <laughs> that other cow is in the way. Hey, you. Yes, run off. Perfect. Now, all we need to do is place the anvil and boop. <laughs> the anvil is still there. We get the anvil back, but we have a cow in a jar. And with the cow in the jar, we have infinite milk. And I'll show you exactly how that works as soon as we get away from the noisy cows. If I place the cow in the jar right here, you'll see it starts producing milk. And it can hold up to eight buckets in its inventory. And when it has eight buckets worth of milk, or just a single bucket worth of milk in its inventory, that's available for you to craft here. You can cook, you can make cheese out of it. Now there's a way to make this better. And that is, if you take one of these and pipe out of it, in, or not just one, but multiple of these, and pipe out of them into a bigger tank, a tank from a different mod, So if I were to take and make, mm, let's just say a portable tank and upgrade it, that holds 20 buckets. You can upgrade it to hold 80 buckets, to hold 160, and think 320 buckets. And you can have that just constantly being filled by a bunch of these cow in a jars. And then you can have the one, that, that one buffer tank somewhere back here that constantly fills a cow in a jar or a jar of milk, either one that's sitting on this and you'll have that extra buffer of milk for making lots of cheese. But I, I want to show you when that fills up exactly how easy it is to do that. Now something else that I would really like to get today is going to be an alumite pick. I want to make alumite which is an alloy that takes obsidian, iron, and aluminum. And this one is really simple. I think we can put any kind of obsidian in and melt it down. So the question is, do we have any more aluminum left? Which I think we do. It would be right in here. We have four aluminum. We have some obsidian. And it was, what, iron? That's, that's not my glider. I was trying to jump and just leisurely glide right over here. But this is what I want to do. Put all of those items in, and we're going to let them alloy up into some alumite. 
and then we're going to pour that out into a pickaxe head. And the reason I want a Lumite is the next step, the next progression to keep moving and make things better is going to be a uh, getting into the nether and getting Ardite and Cobalt. But mining Ardite and Cobalt cannot be done with obsidian level mining. So I need a, bagger, a better head on my pickaxe in order to mine more items. But you see we've got more than a bucket's worth of milk. So if I come in here, cheese. I can make cheese. It uses the salt, as you see right here, 63 salt, and uses the milk out of there and creates my cheese. And that'll give me another plowman's lunch. So I'll be able to come in every so often when this is full and just make eight cheese and then make eight more plowman's lunch. And then I can eat this. I don't want to do it right now because I have pretty full meat puffs. But if you notice, because all of these are really close to 100%, I get buffs. I get toughness. I get strength. I get resistance. And you see my hearts aren't the normal color. That's because I have extra hearts right now thanks to the nutrition mod. Here we go. Alumite. Pour that out, and as soon as it, it'll go down into here, into our chest below, as soon as it cools. And you see, mining level cobalt. This will allow me, when we get to the nether, to mine ardite and cobalt and make manilium. Manilium, manilium, whatever it's called. <laughs> But not only does it give me a higher mining level, it gives me more durability, gives me a greater mining speed because alumite is a stronger material than iron. It is a higher tier material. So that's some significant progress. I'm really pleased to see that our kitchen is running. We have the ability to make plowman's lunch very, very easily now. All I, I have all the ingredients on hand. All I have to do is stock the kitchen, wait for milk and make cheese. And we have an incredibly powerful food source at our disposal very easily. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, feel free to give the video a like. If you want to see more content like this, consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all next time.